Hey South Florida. Hey South Florida. Hey South Florida. I'm Alexis Malord. I'm Alexis Malord. I'm Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. Hey South Florida, I'm Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. Today we're going to be talking about why you're just throwing away money if you're renting. Now remember in one of my previous videos when I told you that you could actually afford to buy a home when you're renting? I know some of you are still skeptical so let me explain why buying a home is more beneficial to you than renting. But first, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up for more tips in the future. This video is not for those who are renting out of necessity, but I do encourage you to continue to watch this video to get more inspiration for you to save up and purchase your home in the future. This video is for those who are comfortably paying rent. If you haven't noticed already, rent prices are astronomical. For example, today I was doing some research and I saw a two bedroom house listed for $1,700 and more. Can you believe that? Two bedrooms for $1,700? Now, if you think that's a good price, please exit the video right now. <laughs> Since the 90s, rent prices have experienced an inflation of over 3% per year. That means that what would have cost $1,000 in rent in the 90s now would cost us about $2,300. That's more than double the price. And did you know that overall inflation only experienced a increase of about 2.3%? That means that rent prices have went up way over anything else that we would consider a necessity. If that alone didn't convince you that renting is a thing of the past, let's get into some reasons why you're just throwing away money. Reason number one, have you ever asked yourself, where is your rent money going? Let's be real. If you're renting right now, you're either doing one of two things or both, making your landlord rich and paying their mortgage. So if you can pay their mortgage, why can't you pay yours? Reason number two is all about equity. When you're renting a home, you have absolutely no equity in that home. So you may be asking, what is equity? Equity, or your share in the home, is the difference between the value of the property and what's owed on the property. For example, if you purchase a home for $200,000 and let's say you owe $100,000 to the bank, your equity in that property would be $100,000. Equity is extremely important, especially when you're selling your home. Remember that home values are going to increase over time. So your equity would increase while the value that you owe decreases. Which brings me to another point about equity. Did you know that if you had a dire emergency where you were in need of money, you could actually take out a second loan on your mortgage using the equity that you already have in your home. So remember when I gave you that example of how you could have $100,000 in equity if you purchase a $200,000 home and only owe $100,000? With that remaining $100,000, you could actually borrow it, let's say, in case you are opening a business or your pet dies and you need a little extra money, something like that. Did you know that the insurance and property taxes that you pay along with the mortgage every month is actually a tax deduction? If you didn't, contact your tax preparer for more information on how you can deduct those from your taxes every year. If you didn't already know, the maximum amount of time that you can rent a property here in Florida is 12 months or one year, unless you have a lawyer prepare the contract for you. So that means that every year you'd either have to move to a new location or pray that your landlord lets you rent out their property for another year. So that brings me to payment. So if your landlord does in fact let you rent their property for another year, that could come with conditions like an increase in rent. Rental payments are not consistent. They could be low one year and high the next. But if you purchase instead, you can have a fixed rate mortgage and your mortgage payments will be the same consistently for as long as you want to keep the home and they will never go up without your say so. 
Reason number three is frequency of moving. Did you know that renters actually move more frequently than people who buy their home? This could be attributed to many reasons, but renters move about 26% of the time, whereas homeowners only move just under 5% of the time. What most people don't realize is that moving has a direct effect on the children who are living there. When, if you provide a stable home for your children, they are proven to do better in school and behave better overall. Number five has all to do with privacy. If you live in an apartment building, condo, or townhome, you know that you and your neighbors are much closer than you think. That's because you can hear everything that's going on in your neighbor's quarters. And I'm pretty sure it's awkward to see your neighbor the next morning after hearing what they were doing the night before. If you do in fact purchase your own home, you have all the privacy to live your life as privately as you'd like. Number six is all about customization. When you're renting a home, you have to keep in mind that the home is not yours. So you cannot really get creative and decorate your home that should be an oasis at the end of the day, how you see fit. Also, landlords tend to do a half-assed job when renovating or repairing. They don't necessarily take the time to fix problems that may go wrong. Plumbing, for example. However, if you purchase your own home, you can customize to whatever style you see fit and wherever you call home is going to be properly taken care of. Number seven has to do with money opportunities. Owning your own home gives you the opportunity to have that home give you back some of the money that you put into it. This could be by renting it out. It could be a short-term rental while you're on vacation or a long-term rental while you move to another location or even another state. In closing, if you're renting a home, you would definitely benefit from owning your own home. Don't let the fear of credit score or money down stop you because you can actually get a loan with at least a 580 credit score and you're not required to put 20% down. We are in 2019. There are many programs designed to help you with either down payment assistance, closing costs, or if you're a first time home buyer. There are programs for everything. Programs for nurses, programs for teachers, programs for doctors. You don't necessarily have to be a first time home buyer to participate in one of those programs. As always, this has been another real estate tip here on Alexis's Oasis. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And I'd love to hear from you. Comment down below, what was your favorite tip that I've done so far? And comment a question that you would love for me to answer. If you're a buyer, a seller, a renter, or an investor, don't hesitate to give me a call. I'm here in the South Florida area. You already know, I'm happy to help.